Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana here, and in this video, I go over an IRS proposed amount due notice, better known as a CP2000, that one of my clients got, our response to that notice, and then eventually, the response back from the IRS with a zero balance due. So if this is something that you're looking to do yourself, be sure to check out this video. All right, so some background in the case. The taxpayer has several forms of income. He's got a business, he has wages and he has royalty income. What ended up happening on the original return is that the taxpayer combined all three income into his business income. And he did not separately state these, which is what should have happened on the tax return. Since these IRS proposed amount due notices, the CP2000, they are automatically generated, computerized. What they do is they try to match on the tax return line by line with the income that was reported, W-2, 1099, et cetera. And if they don't match, then they send out these letters. So that's exactly what happened. Since the wages weren't on the line on the tax return where wages go, they were in the business income. That's why he got this letter. Okay. So we, we go ahead and have to explain that to the IRS. That's exactly what happened. So let's go ahead and start off by looking at the IRS proposed amount due notice that he got. Before we take a look at that notice, if this all seems way too overwhelming for you and you want a professional like me to help you out, be sure to click the link in the description below to schedule an appointment with me to go over your specific case. All right, so here is the actual notice that the taxpayer received. You'll see the notice date is November 9th, 2020. It's for a 2018 tax year. It took some time for the IRS to kind of get around to this. But nonetheless, right, they got an $8,300 bill client got this, was a little freaked out about this, right? What happened? I don't know. Um, and, you know, told us what happened with his tax return. So let's take a look. If you see here on page, what would this be? Three of this CP2000 or proposed amount due notice, this is where it starts to explain some of the changes on why they came up with this amount due, okay? You'll see here, like we said, right, the wages, we're not shown on the return, $9,000 of wages, and then the royalties that he got of $28,000, um, okay? And then also the taxes withheld from the wages were not reported either, which goes in his favor, okay? But nonetheless, this was not reported as income is what they're saying, okay? So then if we go now into our response, again, this is kind of the format that I use to respond to these things. Something that I did actually normally do put on here, but it looks like I missed, is I would have also included um, an AUR number, right? This number right here, just so you can also track it. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, to the IRS, what their name is, their social, the tax year, and then, you know, the response to this. And then I say right away, we do not agree with the, with the notice, okay? So we're saying that we erroneously, right, included the wages and the royalty in his Schedule C or the business income is what we did. That's first and foremost, like I said at the beginning, what we did. Um, we also forgot to uh, include the $2,300, um, obviously, that they already accounted for. So here was the gross sales originally on the business return. But, you know, if we reduce the 9000 from wages and 28000 from royalty, right, that's what those two are, the thirty-seven should be removed out of there and then included on the respective lines on the tax return appropriately, okay? And then we just say, essentially, please just adjust that based on this. And then, you know, thank you so much, sign it, send it off, okay? Uh, pretty basic, actually, okay? I did include also the date that we responded here. So if this is something that you're looking to do yourself, uh, be sure to screenshot, you know, this section here. Um, I always like to, to number this one, two, three, right? Try and make it as easy as possible for anyone working at the IRS to make these changes. You don't want to have to, them to do the work. You want to do all the work yourself. So when then they get this, they know easily how to make these changes. So you got to make the IRS job as easy as possible, uh, especially when you want it in your favor. Okay. So, so be sure to screenshot this again, if this is something that you're looking to do yourself. All right. And so pretty simple. Um, we just had to 
what I like to say, hurry up and wait for the government to do their job there. Um, but they eventually send it, sent back this notice here. You'll see this was received June 30th, the end of June of 21. We responded at the end of, so it took basically six months, a little over six months for this thing to go through. Uh, but they, get, they got it to us, okay? We got a zero, uh, zero balance due which is nice, happy about that, obviously, don't have to owe that money. So going from, right, uh, $8,300 to zero, client was super happy about that. But uh, in my eyes, it was a simple fix, but in his eyes, you know, this was uh, a massive task for him to take on. So anyways, all right, well, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, and you wanna see more of these types of videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, help me out with uh, my YouTube algorithm here, and uh, share it or, Leave a comment in the comment section if you have any questions. I will be sharing more of these uh, CP2000 or IRS proposed amount due notices that I've responded to over the years here uh, soon. Thank you so much.